boats, not the lordship, which enables them to smile to their banks while heaven is sad. Membership of any church or religion does not write your name in the book of life. You must be genuinely born again and forsake sin or you will miss heaven. Only Jesus saves. If you are not fruit bearing, your Christianity is fake. Heaven minded ministers and churches are fast disappearing from the earth. This is most dangerous. What will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? The Lord told me to tell his people to start practicing living in heaven now as they are no more earth citizens but citizens of heaven. He said to me, you are already scattering if you are not gathering with me in soul winning. Where is your heart and your treasure? Jesus said, all the blessings that are making them fall prey to false prophets are already in heavenly places waiting for their collection. Ephesians chapter 1 says, that we have been raised with Christ in heavenly places and seated with him at the right hand of God, far above principalities and powers, with all things under the feet of Christ, and our feet because we are in him. We are already seated on the throne of authority and power in Christ Jesus. This is the last day's warning of love. Read Revelation chapter 3. I was shown how Sister Stella was celebrated when she arrived in heaven at the end of her life on earth as she slept in the Lord. If you see this and the glory this sister is enjoying now and for all eternity, you will know why the devil do not allow people to become soul winners but keeps them busy with nonsense. All these entertainment churches and ministers plus the prosperity preachers are in reality hellfire embassies bringing embarrassment to heaven. After the whole experience, which I cannot narrate here but will continue in subsequent messages if the Lord permits, the Lord said to me, It is time for you to go back and share this to bring as many that are willing and obedient to heaven. I then said to Jesus that I would rather want to stay there in heaven with him. He said to me, If you do not go, many will not make it to heaven. I have chosen and ordained you to bring as many as possible here. Go and prepare my people for my return in the urgency of heaven. I have shown you your mansion and crown. I have given you also the mercy of David and that assures your return. You are very dear to my heart along with the others who are also minding the mandate of heaven to depopulate hell and populate heaven. Many have failed me and my labor shall not be in vain. Multiplied grace abound toward you. Go and bring the remnants in. He further said to me, Warn the people, they want me as Savior, but not as Lord, and this cannot be possible. Now Jesus cannot be your Savior if you don't make him your Lord. Beloved, a bride is too beautiful to carry sports and wrinkle. You are either a friend of Jesus or is slave to sin and Satan. While Jesus and the others were escorting me back, I wept until I came back to this realm. Beloved, the worst thing that can happen to you is to miss heaven and end up in hellfire after Christ has done it all for you. Making heaven must be your greatest achievement on earth. Nothing on earth is what missing the eternal beauty and glory of heaven for. My heart bleeds for those who are still playing church and religion. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior now. Repent from sin genuinely. If you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. Look for heavenly conscious churches and ministers and connect with them now. 
rapture or death could be any moment. Share this in the urgency of heaven for the time is at hand. Let it get to the ends of the earth as commanded by Jesus Christ. This great mandate of heaven's supernatural revelation is from witness Ken Paul Obieke, a living witness of Jesus Christ, the only hope of glory with love, to see you and others in heaven. God bless you. Maranatha. If you would like to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, why don't you pray with me? Bow your heads and pray with all your heart. Lord Jesus, I come to you today a sinner. I believe you died for me and you rose again. I ask that you come into my heart and give me a new heart of righteousness. Forgive me all my sins. I renounce Satan and every works of darkness in my life and I receive the gift of eternal life today. Thank you Jesus for saving me. Amen.